this video is the first one in the last set of videos on the theoretical concepts for the subtopics of uh, electronic devices and these subtopics are bipolar junction transfer second is field effect transfer third is the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transfer uh, along with these uh, some videos of the gate problem and solution would also be uploaded in recent years in recent year papers it is observed that a good number of problems are being asked uh, from mosfets and fets the basic concepts of the devices will help in for the topics of analog circuits the explanation of the theoretical concepts has been very brief here although efforts are made to cover the most of the concepts and the terms which have appeared in the gate problems you will need the uh, support of some relevant textbooks for the topic this video will cover the following uh, points in the bjt so basically focus on bjt and uh, the corresponding points which are covered here are like introduction to bjt bjt operation transistor currents leakage currents base width modulation and punch through junction breakdown and operating modes of uh, uh, transistor now we start with the bipolar junction transistor the transistor uh, is a basically a short form of short term of uh, transfer resistors basically uh, in case of transistors uh the small signal is uh, transferred from low resistance circuit to the high resistance circuit so that's why we call it uh, transfer resistor uh the the set to be a bipolar junction transistor yeah there are two types of carriers which take place uh, uh which are being uh, used in these uh, operation of these devices and these carriers as the holes and the electrons are the two carrier that's why it's said to be bipolar bipolar two pn junctions uh, this uh, this uh, transistor is having uh, as for the diagram here this is n region p region and again n region this said to be emitter this is base and this is a collector region so it is having three uh Uh, dope regions are two junctions here, and there are three terminals uh, in this device. Two terminal, two pin junctions, three terminal device. Here, the base region is thin and is lightly doped. Emitter region is heavily doped, and uh, while the collector is having this collector region is uh, uh, moderately doped, but it has a large physical area since it has to collect the electrons. It said that unbiased transfer uh, is equivalent to two back-to-back -back diodes, but uh, if we use two discrete uh, diodes and connect them back to back, they will not operate as a uh, transfer, since these diodes will not have the characteristics which are needed uh, for the base region. Uh, this is the Uh, here is a symbol of the transistor this is a collector this is a base and this is a emitter and the direction of this arrow indicates the direction of the conventional current flow now if we see the transistor operation the transistor operation here uh, for the active mode of operation of a transistor the emitter base junction is forward biased and uh, collector base junction is reverse biased and uh, the emit in the emitter the electrons are the majority carriers they get injected into the base region and uh, base is to pass these electrons to the collector for the uh, efficient transfer action and the base is uh, kept at lightly doped so that uh, 
there is a long lifetime of the carriers and uh, so uh, most of them reach the collector and it has a thin base so these carriers have to travel a very short distance to reach the collector so almost all electrons reach the collector only few electrons recombine in the base and flow to the power positive terminal of the supply and they give rise to the base current now uh, we see uh, the transfer currents uh, what are the different uh, uh, transfer currents uh, here uh, as we have noticed the uh, emitter is the uh, total current uh, which consists of collector current and the base current this collector current base current and this emitter current the DC value of the current gain is IC over IE for the common base circuit and uh, beta DC is for the current base current gain for the uh, common emitter circuits most of the low power transistors uh, which have uh, dissipation like uh, uh, less than a watt are uh, come under the category of low power transistors and uh, they have a gain of uh, from 100 to 300 and uh, beta DC with this uh, high power transistors have uh, powers more than what uh, have a gain of, gain of 20 to 100 so these are some typical uh, values of transfer uh, uh, parameters now uh, the leakage current uh, are very important uh, in the case of uh, uh, these devices uh, let us consider this circuit here the emitter is open once the emitter is open there should not be any collector current to flow in this circuit but so open emitter IE is 0 IC should be 0 but IC is not 0 because of the leakage current so magnetic carrier current ICBO flows into it so for the common base uh, this current is uh, for the common base uh, circuit uh, the current is uh, IC is equal to alpha I plus ICBO now the for the common emitter the ICO is beta plus 1 ICBO related to common base leakage current so for the common emitter configuration of the transistor this uh, IC is given by beta IB the normal current plus the leakage current beta plus 1 ICBO so this is the effect of leakage current it is in the direction of the normal conventional current which uh, flows in the transistor now we see uh, these uh, important uh, uh, region like uh, punch through or reach through what is the punch through and the reach through normally for ideal transistors uh, we plot a common emitter uh, configuration plot uh, IC versus VC the plot is like this but normally for low values of the uh, collector voltage uh, these characteristics are flat uh, but if this collector voltage is increased then these characteristics are not flat and there is some special uh, effect that comes in uh, that we'll see uh, here if the collector voltage uh, how 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 this takes place is uh, when the collector voltage VC is increased both VC and VCV increase and uh, this uh, reduces the base width because increase of these reverse fires of VCV uh, will uh, increase the depletion region and that will extend to the base and as the depletion region extends to the base uh, the base width comes so the effect of base width modulation takes place here and because of this uh, uh, base, base width uh, reduction the carriers there will have a uh, different uh, uh, gradient and they will have a higher gradient so that diffusion current will increase and with the increase uh, of diffusion current the beta will increase and uh, beta will increase that means the value of the current will be I will also increase so there will be a pronounced effect of IC with increase in collector voltage so uh, this uh, we said the effect is said to be base width modulation 
this model means the change of base width and the early voltage if I extrapolate these characteristics they meet at a point minus VA so this uh, minus V is to be the early voltage and uh, there is a uh, when we further increase character to base uh, voltage the depletion layer reaches emitter base uh, uh, depletion region so the completely based uh, base region is wiped off and in that case uh, this ultimate voltage limit and the punch through occurs in the transfer and transfer operation uh, stops. Now uh, we will see uh, about the uh, modes of the transfers. Uh, there are uh, four different uh, transfer modes uh, we will uh, see here. Uh, this is the condition what is the condition this is the condition uh, the emitter base junction is forward bias and the collector base junction is reverse bias this forward forward reverse reverse and reverse forward so emitter junction and collector junction so when this junction is forward bias reverse bias is the active mode forward forward is the situation mode reverse reverse is cut off mode and uh, reverse forward is the inverted mode these are the uh, different modes of uh, operation of a transistor uh, active mode is the most uh, common mode and saturation and cut off are used uh, when transistor is used as a uh, switch in the pulse circuits. Now uh, we see about the uh, uh, breakdown, junction breakdown. Uh, this junction breakdown occurs due to the avalanche multiplication as we know and that we have seen in the case of the dirts also that it takes place because of the avalanche multiplication. Typical ratings uh, for a transistor here are given 2N3904, VCO 40 volts, VCBO 60 and VBO. These parameters indicate here this is a collector to emitter voltage when the base is open. This is collector to base when emitter is open and so on. These are breakdown voltages and the highest uh, breakdown voltage is collector to base uh, breakdown voltage that is 60 volts. Normally it is uh, observed that uh, VCO is about uh, VCO is about 40 to 50 percent of the VCBO most important uh, uh, breakdown voltage VCBO. So we have to never exceed uh, the VCO value otherwise uh, transfer operation will stop. Now the characteristics are shown here uh, for the breakdown region this is the collector current and this is the VCE and VCEO this is the collector to emitter breakdown and so this uh, collector current increases rapidly so this is the breakdown region uh, in these uh, transfers so these are uh, uh, I would say uh, the different terms and parameters which we thought would be appropriate for uh, you or to solve the gate problems and if there is something uh, which is left out uh, we'll see that uh, during uh, uh, giving the solution to the gate problems thank you